So we have Christian and Zach. So welcome on stage. Um, two of my favorite people, and you can see that uh, they're in different environments. And so this is going to be a, you know a special presentation uh, talking about printed electronics in next gen of smart wearables, where you will also get a kind of a sneak peek into the facilities that enable such devices. So yeah, without any further delay, I think the stage is yours. You guys knew the you know know the know the procedure. So good luck. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and thank you for having the opportunity to make a presentation here on uh, smart wearables and how uh, printed electronics can be utilized in this uh, world. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Dalsko. I work for the Danish Technological Institute. I also have a role as chair of the London-based uh, Smart Textile Alliance. I have been in this uh, area for, for more than uh, 15 years. So I think I have a pretty good uh, understanding of uh, what the uh, smart textile is and how uh, printed electronics can be used. I have my colleague with me, um, uh, Zachary Davis, and uh, he will uh, very soon uh, give a, a tour in the lab. And uh, we'll be so happy to uh, introduce uh, you to the capacity that we have here in uh, Copenhagen. <clears throat> First of all, if um, we can have the slides uh, running, uh, I have, um, I know that um, Christoph is behind the scene and if he can uh, bump to the next slide, it would be good. Um, yeah, uh, just, just to introduce you to the Danish Technological Institute, we have been here for more than 100 years. It was founded as, uh, <clears throat> by a great guy, Garner Gregersons. And his motto was that uh, never go the same way as, uh, as others. And uh, today, uh, Danish Technological Institute is one of the largest uh, RTOs uh, in Denmark. Uh, we are approved by the Danish Ministry of Higher Education and Science to be a technical uh, service provider and a research institution into technology development. Uh, please go ahead uh, with some highlights of the Danish Technological Institute. We are proud to be a world-class uh, work and workplace. That means that we have over a thousand employees, highly specialized people that either have a master degree in technology and science or PhD. So it's a very, very comprehensive uh, institution. Uh, we, pr we claim that we have 42,000 solutions. Uh, I haven't counted them all, <laughs> but uh, I rely on what's here. Uh, and these solutions are from everything from uh, house building solution, isolation, uh, materials development for specific uh, fuels, uh, the green transition, everything that have been developed uh, during the years and which is still uh, clearly part of our assets. We have over 10,000 customers, and these customers range from everything from small, uh, medium-sized companies to, to large companies, to pharmaceutical, to uh, governmental institution. And, and they are uh, del, uh, relying on our independency and our able uh, capacity to really understand the technical complex uh, problems. We also uh, among uh, the most attractive uh, workplace in Denmark, and that has been studied uh, by the Danish Engineering Society, so it's not uh, just a claim. But uh, let's move into the uh, areas which we are in here. Uh, we have uh, four locations in Denmark. One is where, I'm, where I am and uh, Zach is, uh, Tostrup, very near to Copenhagen. If you fly into Copenhagen, you'll be here on our headquarters in uh, 20 minutes' time. <clears throat> we also have a large uh, facility in Aarhus uh, with our 3D printing, industrial printing center, and the uh, lab facilities for, uh, among other things, uh, test the chemistry uh, on textiles. In Odense, uh, which is on the island of Fyn, we have a robot center uh, working very heavily on uh, next generation robots and support of uh, artificial intelligence in robotic. Please go ahead. <clears throat> uh, the institution that I'm 
in or the department that I'm working here uh, 